Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today we're going to be doing a watercolor lighthouse, but using a flat wash brush mostly and using some dry brush techniques to create this kind of cool look, really simple vignette of a lighthouse. I give you a reference photo. I talk about how I do this and it really literally took me like nothing to do this. Hardly, hardly any time at all. And once you get used to playing with the flat wash brush, then you too can have like a simple drawing and then just go crazy with it and have fun with it. I just made the lighthouse a little simpler nothing too extravagant not many details so anybody can do it you go in and use a number eight long round brush for little extended details if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section also check out my patreon i have ad free videos traceables exclusive tutorials and a live stream on the top tier as well as a facebook group it's just a place people go and support my channel which i appreciate so much you can check it out in one second right here this little dot above my finger pops up and you click on that and you can see the Patreon. And yes, we extended, we added a Patreon Facebook group where everyone shares their paintings and what they're struggling with, what they're working on. It's really fantastic and people are really loving it. So without further ado, let's get painting the cute little lighthouse. So let's talk about supplies. I have Fabriano's block here. This is the bright white, 100% cotton cold press. I'll be using Princeton 3 4 inch Velvet Touch series and the number eight long round velvet touch series i might grab another brush or two i give you the reference photo of the lighthouse um and i you know already drew my sketch in here and i really wanted to pick a really simple lighthouse and we can talk about that you know because i wanted to show just a simple lighthouse we can do some nice shadows and some nice brush strokes that are more um dry brush kind of dark brush strokes that are kind of fun to play with and this paper is great to play with you want to use like a good grain texture type paper i mean actually you know a little thicker paper that's um, really great for texture like a 300 pound grain textured paper is great too to use for this particular tutorial so i've already mixed up like some colors here i've got paints gray with ultramarine blue i've got my greens mixed with some yellows we can play around with that we can use some burnt sienna some browns in the photograph it shows it's on a hill with green here yeah, green here um, i'm going to be using um, I'm going to use some, some green, but I'm going to actually put other things in here. And then here's the, the ocean area. So, you know, play around with it. It doesn't have to be exactly like the photograph. We're just doing a kind of a lighthouse, unless you want to make it perfection. You know, this is the lighthouse where it is, whatever. Just giving you ideas to paint when you're painting a lighthouse. So like I said, I'm using the Princeton 8, I mean, excuse me, the Princeton 3 4 inch wash. And we're doing wet on dry because we want to have a dry brush effect. Dry brush effect, you know, happens when you have hardly any water on your brush. So here's we're gonna put some of this color on here. I don't have a lot of color, but I have to mix up a little more. Here's the ultramarine blue with the paints gray. I gotta water it down to get a lighter, a little bit lighter. So it is very wet right here, but how you can get that, where you can get the dry brush effect. It's always good to have a towel or paper towels close by. I'm gonna zoom down a little bit, and you can just tap it on your paper towel. I'm grabbing this gray color, a little blue. And I hope it's not too dark. We're going to play with just tapping the color and then adding color. So here we go. See? Whoosh. And you can see where it didn't hit the paper. We've got this dry brush effect. So I'm just going from like here and then outward here. That's a kind of a cool effect. Just like that. Different techniques. You got to try different things. You can add a little more blue. While it's still damp in those areas, see? These are things you can play with. You don't think about these things often, right? You know, flat wash brushes are great. I might grab some water at this point and kind of push out the color here. Really kind of simple, right? I have a lot of blues happening. Grabbing some water. I don't have a lot of paint on my brush, so it'll be easily to make that dry brush effect. I'm trying not to hit the lighthouse too much, but if I go over it, it's not a big deal. See? Because on this side, it's a lot of shading with the blue. So I can go over that. Right? And even with the house. Got a little blue shading here. I'm going to grab a little more gray. You can grab some burnt umber. Listen, really get to play with some of your stuff here. I'm adding some gray here. 
going across. See, it has a little more dramatic effect. Add some of that in here. Going in, I'm just playing with this flat wash brush next to the light hose. See, get get really dramatic if you add some really deeper color on the right hand side where the shadows are. <laughs> and the sound effects too. I might get some more water and kind of go like this. Just water this down a little bit. And keeping the other side kind of lighter. I just love the energy of that. You know, just a flat wash brush. There's a lot of nice energy going on. You can add a little browns, tip of tapping, going in here. Now, I don't know if I like that streak. I might just go back in and just remove a little bit of that color. I liked it on the other side. Let me play around with that. See, just simple. Whoosh, whoosh. Look at the effect. You don't have to paint like the whole sky, all blues and all that stuff. You can try different techniques and different things. You know, I'm gonna go back here with the blue, maybe a little deeper again. Put some pink gray. Just like that. I might keep a little letter on the bottom though. Remove some of that. Play with your colors. Now we're gonna start doing similar things down here, but then we're gonna be making some kind of grasses and then we have the stone. Now, feel free if you want to use a bigger brush for this. So now I'm going to be doing the grass area, which is kind of like, well, it's grass and it's rock. And, you know, this is more of an expression. I'm going to go down and draw like the little rocks down here. Then it is perfectionism, right? So for the rocks, you have some browns, and some grays. You can mix both together. To the grass, it's green, it's yellow. So I've got some yellow over here. You can see that. Um, I use cadmium yellow deep and mix it with some browns and I got the yellow green over here. Again, the same kind of technique. You can take this brush, kind of just like taking the yellow, just wisping in this color. See here? It's a nice light color. I just really like the dry brush effect. We're not going to paint every nook and cranny of this paper, by the way. Just going in here and adding in the yellow. My brush is kind of doing this thing where it kind of splits. You might have to like put some more water on it and then tap it back on your towel and then start going back in again. It has the tendency to do that. You can kind of twist the paintbrush like this a little bit. But see, I love the energy of that. Just like this, it was a simple drawing of a lighthouse. I'm gonna grab some greens. Can go like this, and maybe get a little bit darker green. So I'm mixing up some darker green using Prussian blue and a little bit of that paint gray. Just kind of tapping wet on wet now at this point, right? Out here, and some brown. See, because the sun's kind of coming from the left and the right. So we don't want to make this really, really, really dark. You want to make some areas that are very light. The sun's hitting it, and you, but you do have some dark areas. So let's do this twisty kind of thing with the flat wash brush, grabbing some yellows and browns. Gonna be hitting the rocks in a bit. Again, just minimal water. Really don't need a lot. Got that little twisty thing. Now I'm gonna put some rocks in. So it's that beige brown, blue, gray, all that good stuff. And here we go, tapping it on the paper towel or whatever towel you have. So there's the rocks. Just going like this. Again with the dry brush kind of technique. See, just like twisty, twisty, twist, twist. Or you can just do more like lines like going across if you want to do that. That works better for you. Again, it's just like a simple energy of 
what we're doing here. Grabbing in some more green. Um, if you want to make some kind of grasses, take your brush. Pick colors again. See, wisping up. You can kind of see the bristles create that grass. Barely touching the paper, by the way. Kind of have that look. Right? If it too, seems too structured, you can kind of go in and add a little bit of water and kind of blend it a little bit. So I'm grabbing some water, kind of moving around. See, it's more blended now. If you didn't like that kind of look over there. Grabbing some more greens with the Prussian blue and some yellow and a little brown. You can kind of wet on wet now at this point. Doing little twisties. This is just a lot of fun. Play with the flat wash brush. They're a lot of fun. See, adding that back in. And then the grays kind of up in here. This is rocks kind of everywhere. You can just take the corner of this brush. See, I'm grabbing the paint. Tip, 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 tappy. Cut a couple rocks, twisting, tapping, while it's still damp and wet. And there's your rocks. Up here I'm leaving it light because I want the shadow of the blue to go in there. And then we have the little water area. Um, you can make it any color you want. I'm going to use mostly ultramarine blue if you want to add a little turquoise. There is the peacock blue, which is kind of turquoise color. Again. You can tap it down the towel, get that dry brush effect. Boom. I'm chiseling it, holding it on its side like this, the vertical. Wow. Adding some deeper color. You can add the turquoise color. Got to play with the brushes. They're lots of fun to play with. In this camera angle, it looks like it's leaning. I might try and straighten it out a little bit. There, much better. But see, playing with the flat wash brush, it's so much fun. You, you can't imagine. So then you go add some blue and gray. We're gonna start playing with maybe even a little pink. If you wanna make purple. If you want to just take ultramarine blue, a little paints gray, and maybe some pink or some magenta. That's a little too purpley. Just a little purple, purplish gray tone. And a little more blue. I'll water this down a little bit. And that would be the side color of your house. If it's too purpley, add more blue. Mine's a little too purpley. It probably isn't a word, but you know what I mean. It's that side color. I'm really not focusing on how perfect the side's supposed to be. I just want to get that shadow in there. Same thing with the lighthouse. Getting that shadow kind of color in there. If you need to use the number eight, go right ahead, right? And there's a little shadow underneath the roof line here. Again, I'm just using the chisel edge of this brush. See, just tapping. I'm really just kind of touching lightly. In the blue lighthouse. <laughs> you can add some more in the hair up in here, get those shadows. Deeper ones, maybe ultramarine blue with some Payne's gray. We're getting like some deeper shadows that the, the house would make. Kind of going out that way, see? And now at this point, we have to let this dry. If you really want this to blend better, clean off your brush 
kind of manipulate it by going right next to it with the water, picking it back up. You want to do that. You know, it's also good if you can kind of go back, if you wanted to, do another wash of like the light gray. I kind of wanted to make it perfectly against that the house, but it can't be always perfect. Just do a little line here, just to fill that gap in. You can do a whole line here too. Always have fun with your brushes. Just never know what you can create. You see that roof color? Now that's a nice shade. We can get a tad darker. You don't have to get so light and it looks more intense when it's darker. I might be using my number eight at this point. So I'm going down. Finally using number eight. Take that same color and go in here. Get a little bit darker. Didn't like how light it was. It should be a little more intense. There's a shade on a sunny day. See how much more intense that looks now? And even at the section, like kind of now where the lighthouse meets the house. Get a little more intense. Not everywhere, just right there, kind of in that section. Does that make sense? Great. So we'll let that dry. You can do the roof color. It can be like a nice orangey red. I have a burnt sienna color here. Burnt sienna, I can grab some magenta. See magenta, burnt sienna. It's a kind of cranberry. You can mix a little yellow in there and you get that perfect like roof orange red. I'll just put that in. Just like so. Maybe mine needs a little more orange. Yeah, play around with it. Like I am here. There's the color. Also, the um, chimney, one side would be lighter, I'm lifting up some of this color. It's a little too dark on this side. So, this side here is a light part of the chimney on the left. Same thing here. And then on the right will be darker. This way, take this little teeny skinny brush, get a little bit dark with the color. Mixing in some dark colors here. And this side is darker. See, I'm just taking a little bit in that brush. Makes a big difference, right? The roof line up in here should be a little bit blue gray. If you want to just make it go across, do that. It's more complicated for you. Going in here and just filling this in. Again with those blues. Now for the lighthouse, obviously you see some, it looks like black, but you would make it like a you know, Payne's gray, a little brown. And all those little areas. And they don't have to be perfect, by the way. I just hold my brush on its side and kind of go like that. Filling in the areas that you see in the photograph. Like I said, it's an interpretation of it. It's not gonna be perfect by any means going through here and then we have the little roof a little ball on top and the lines that come down there's a little shading under here it's a couple of railings happening you can get intense with it or not intense with it See, I just think there's just a little tippy taps here and there. Some dark colors, intensity of the areas on the lighthouse. We're not reaching for perfection here. We just want an interpretation of it. Right. And then the window here. Right. You can use the tip of this brush. Kind of outline the outer part of the window. 
again, not perfect. And then we have the windows here. They have little shutters. Yeah, get a little crazy if you want to. I'm gonna put a little line here. And then you see the doorway in this one. Still a little damp over in the section. Well, you see, it's just simple like that. And even like th right there, it looks great. A little bit too white in this section down below here. You can add some colors, play around with that. Blues, grays, browns. You know, go in here, adding some brown, maybe a little blue. And it's still just a little too white for the uh, lighthouse. I'm playing around with little browns and some grays. And the grass. So get a little creative with that. I'm getting my browns here. Browns and yellows. And some greens. You can take this tip of the brush and start to swipe up some grass just like this this movement little ones back here bigger ones in the front see just play around with the grass I know you don't really see that much like that in the picture but this is an interpretation of it I'm having fun and look how simple that was now right here I don't really know if I like that white section that kind of created in here. I can go back in, add some gray, I'll kind of blend it back in here. And can you see that little white area? Right? Really simple. That's it. You go and add more details as you feel free that you want to add. But listen, don't make yourself crazy. It was just that flat wash brush taking a skinny brush and adding in little teeny details, some grass. But just a simple little interpretation of a lighthouse. That's all we needed to do. You can take the tip of your brush later on at the end and go and add all the little fine details of the doorway that you see in another window, whatever. You can add more windows. I'm not gonna get super detailed on this little side roof thing here. You kind of see what it is. Right? It's kind of drying right now. And even the shutters. I don't even, I kind of omitted the shutters because I don't really want to put them in. If I don't like this little dry edge, I can take some water and kind of manipulate it. And get rid of it. But that's my little simple lighthouse. Kind of using a dry brush technique. You can play around with that chisel edge of the brush. And go and add more color, or less color, you know, all that stuff. Take your time with it. See? Go back in. The little grass. You go back in and add some rocks. Twisty, twisty turn. If you want this a little bit darker. Just like that. Just really want to make it simple. Simple, fun, sweet, lighthouse. And like I said, you can go back in the blues too. Oops, a little brown on my brush. See, there's some pigment still there. That's okay, you can kind of fix that. You can always fix it. There we go. Might add a couple deeper blue, blue values in here on the ocean. But that's it. Flat wash brush, number eight. Simple techniques to create this really kind of cool, loose, simple lighthouse. I hope you enjoyed it. Take time, have fun with it. Do colors if you want, play around with it. You know, this is what you gotta do when you have different brushes, you gotta play with them. If you don't know how to, if you don't play with them, you don't know how to work them. <laughs> and I love to do it on the chisel end, the flat end, you know, on the corner, play around with it. So thank you so much for my coming to my channel. I hope you have a great day and please, again, have fun, experiment.